of everybody this is norm cam coming at you it's been a very busy day of course this is the time of the year where every team solidifies their 53-man roster essentially creates the foundation of what their team is going to look like and here is your 2019 seattle seahawks i'm going to start first with the players that were waived i might not go through every single one but uh the ones that i say probably most people were interested or kind of had some name attachment to so let's start first with the terminated veteran contracts so they lost uh fullback nick belore um this was a surprise for most wide receiver jerron brown defensive end cassius marsh who they just brought back in to uh give things a try for this uh upcoming season um uh, and uh, defense back Deshaun Shedd was also released. Um, Geno Smith uh, was on that terminated veteran contract as well. Cornerback Jamar Taylor. Uh, some surprises there. We thought some of these were shoe ins, but man, even just Geno Smith, I thought he'd lot after that. And big surprise there. Um, so here's the other. Uh, uh, players who were waived, uh, big sh uh, surprise, but not to me. I'd said this all along that Jazz Ferguson, an impressive um, uh, preseason and training camp. Jazz Ferguson uh, gone, I waived. Uh, let's see, tight end Jackson Harris, tight end Jacob Hollister, uh, receiver Khalil Lewis, uh, safety Shalani. Uh, Paxton Lynch, we already knew that he was done. Uh, running back J.D. McKissick, thought he might be part of the core. Uh, I believe J.D. McKissick and the aforementioned Jerron Brown uh, may have been uh, cap casualties as a result of bringing uh, Jendavion Clowney uh, into the Seahawks. So that might have been a money move that they needed to do. Uh, who else here? Uh, Keenan Reynolds, another wide receiver, uh, let go. Uh, Gord Jordan, uh, Gord, guard Jordan Roos. Uh, he's been with the team for a while. He's gone. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Do, do, do. Running back Bo Scarborough. Uh, cornerback Simeon Thomas. Uh, guard Landon Turner. Running back Xavier Turner. Uh, right receiver Terry Wright, who made the nice touchdown catch. I bet after he made that catch, he was thinking, ah, oh, I got, I just. Solidified my spot on the team. Nope, not the case. Um, they also waived with an injury designation. Cornerback Jeremy Boykins, line, linebacker Justin Curry. Uh, physically unable to perform list, Demarcus Christmas, defensive tackle, and guard Phil Haynes. Injured reserve is Jordan Simmons, guard. And then we acquired via trade cornerback Perry Nickerson. So he comes in. And of course we got, uh, what else? So those were some of the names that we uh, ended up letting go. So let me read your, your 53 man roster. All right, we'll go through this quarterback. Let's do this right. Introducing your Seattle Seahawks at quarterback, J9 Lives Procise and Travis Homer. Travis Homer made quite an impact, uh, obviously making the roster ahead of um, uh, Jamie McKissick. At wide receiver, Tyler Lockett, David Moore, DK Metcalf, Gary Jennings, John Ursua, and Malik Turner. Malik Turner uh, getting on uh, with the team ahead of a uh, surprise for some of you. At tight end, Will Disley, Nick Vanette, and Ed Dixon. Your offensive starting lineup on the offensive line, Dwayne Brown at left tackle, Mike Ayupati, left guard, center, Justin Britt, right guard, D. Dave Fluker, right tackle, Jermaine Ifedi, and backups, Ethan Posick, Joey Hunt, Jamarco Jones, and George Fant. On the defensive line, we have Ziggy Ansah, LJ Collier, Brandon Jackson, Rasheem Green, Quinton Jefferson, Puna Ford, Rasheem Green, wait a minute, is that right? Yes, that's right. Puna Ford, Brian Moan, Moan, Monet, not sure, Al Woods, uh, this is not correct. Jacob Martin? Uh, no. <laughs> That's not it. And neither is Barkevius Bar Mingo. My sources uh, are not correct. Uh, so scratch those two. Into the trade. Oh, so they got to add to that. Uh, of course, newly acquired Jadavion Clowney. All right. 
Uh, linebacker, Bobby Wagner, KJ Wright, Michael Kendricks, pending his uh, sentence, which will be probably sometime next month. Uh, Shaquem Griffin, I think. I think. Cody Barton, Ben Burkirvan, and Austin Calitro. Your cornerbacks, Shaquille Griffin, Dre Flowers, Nico Thorpe, Akeem King, and Perry Nickerson. Best safety, Bradley McDougald, Tedrick Thompson, Marquise Blair, Ugo Amadi, and Leno Hill. And your special team, uh, specialist punter Michael Dixon, kicker Jason Myers, and your, your long snapper Tyler Ott. And that is your 2019-53 men Seattle Seahawks roster, baby. Um, so what does that mean for the guys who got cut? Is that the end of the world? Well, far from it. So the aforementioned players who were waived by the Seahawks not put onto the 53-man roster, they now have the ability to be claimed off waivers from other teams. And for those guys who, you know, who are, you know, balling out all preseason, they're not just doing it to try to make this team, but they're hoping to put on tape something that another team will. That doesn't happen. So you're one of these guys, you don't get picked up by another team, so you clear waivers. Then the Seahawks have the opportunity to bring them back as a practice squad player. Uh, each team is allowed 10 practice squad players. And that's, uh, I believe, what was it? I think veterans, I believe it's four veterans, uh, are, you might be curious to how much does a practice squad player make? I was always curious myself. I had to look it up. Uh, the calorie for a practice squad player is for the season. So it's not a, it's not for the entire year. It's for the number of weeks in the season. So if you take a, uh, if you don't make the playoffs and you have a 17 week season, so you multiply 17 times eight, which is, I can't do the math right now, but I believe it's going to carry the five. I think about $136,000, uh, for a season. That's not bad. That's not bad money, right? Uh, you're not making the, the millions, you know, that the, uh, the signed guys are making or that the rookie contracts are, but Hey, that's still pretty good. Um, and of course you have a chance to, you know, move up in, in the team. If you can uh, hang in there and show what you can do, or if uh, somebody else ahead of you gets injured, they might promote you up there. Uh, so, and the current salary for, uh, rookies right now, the minimum salary, if you were drafted is, I believe it's $495,000 a year and you are on a four-year contract if you're uh, a, uh, let's see, what is it? If you're an undrafted rookie, then I believe it's a three-year contract. So, um, there you go. So in case you were curious about how much uh, these gentlemen make, that's of course not the big blockbuster ones, that's just the minimum for, for being a no-name person on a team. That's what kind of money you're talking about. Uh, so, there you go. That is your 2019 Seattle Seahawks roster. Some shockers in there, but of course, the Jadavion Clowney uh, trade overshadowing, uh, overshadowing most of uh, the news that would have been uh, buzzing around today. Uh, I guess the big surprise for me personally was just, uh, actually, I didn't even realize the Geno Smith thing. I thought he was still, I had to like double check that. Terminated veteran contract, Geno Smith. So, who the heck is our backup quarterback? Let's look at that again. I don't even know who our backup quarterback is. It just says, yeah, even this article, officially by the Seahawks, the Seahawks released both Geno Smith and Paxton Lynch, and all but assures that another move is coming at some point at a second quarterback. That is, That was probably the biggest shock. We don't have a backup quarterback right now, so <laughs> whoever's going to be back, backing up Russell Wilson, uh, he's not on the team at the moment. So they got a week to get the guy who's going to be backing him up. Not that I expect that guy's going to be very busy, but they do have to have a quarterback who's going to run the second team offense. You know, backup quarterback doesn't just hold the clipboard, uh, and, and, and it has to just be ready to come in for the starter. He does have a job during practice to run, you know, the scout team and all that. So uh, it's interesting. We do not know who our backup quarterback is going to be. That was a shocker. Um, probably the other ones, like I said, Jerron Brown. Thought he'd be here. Uh, I thought J.D. McKissick would still be here. 
Um, who else? Cassius Marsh, I saw probably uh, was on the bubble. Defensive tackle, Jamie Meter played really well. I kept noticing number 66 making plays in the Raiders game, but, you know, uh, we're talking second and third level guys. So uh, Deshaun Shedd, that was, a, that was a bit of a surprise there too. Um, who else? I guess those were the main ones uh, that I was surprised to see go. Everything else was kind of what I expected. So there you go. Um, Let's we'll see what other things happen. Obviously, there's going to be uh, the, the league, the teams have until 1 p.m., I believe, to claim other players off waivers, which Seattle could do theoretically. There's still some moves that could be made uh, by 1 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, but then come Monday, we'll probably we'll have a fairly good idea that this is this is the roster. Uh, the, the clowny deal, still pending the physicals. You know, I mean, I've pretty much all been celebrating that we've got them, but... You know, it still has to pass the physical. I mean, there have been situations where a person is, they've announced the trade and the move and everything looks like it's a done deal and then the person doesn't pass their physical and the whole thing, you know, falls apart. So I guess we can't quite count our chickens before they hatch, but barring a freak uh, medical, you know, failed physical, uh, he should be with the team. So there you go. That is your roster right there. So... I'm still pretty hyped, still pretty excited. A couple of curveballs, but again, uh, nothing, nothing too concerning. So, yeah, there you go. So, we'll be in touch. This is the big week. I've been probably the number one question I've been asked on all forms of social media uh, is when is that 2019 Seahawks prediction, season prediction video coming out? It is this week. My goal is to have it out by Thursday, the latest Friday, Blue Friday before the first game of the season. And yeah, I will be hard at work the next few, next few days trying to get this baby done, but I'm excited. It's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, I appreciate a lot of you guys giving me song input. Uh, a couple of posts, a few posts ago, you know, a week or two ago, I asked you guys for some song input and uh, you guys gave me a lot of good ideas. It's, uh, some ideas I'm gonna run with. So. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be very busy the next few days. Uh, so if you are in town, you might at some point catch me shooting a scene somewhere, <laughs> you know, around town maybe. But uh, it's going to be fun. That's the, one of the biggest videos I put out every year. So I'm excited. I hope to uh, not let you guys down. I hope you guys will enjoy it. And wish me luck. It's going to be a lot of hours putting this baby together. But uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it. And I hope my prediction, whatever I end up predicting, comes true. All right. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, please, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down there, I think. And then right below it, click that little notification bell. And then that way, as soon as I put out a new video, bing, you'll get the notification. You won't miss it. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate y'all. And we'll talk soon. Have a good one. Go Hawks.